Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Kellen and today I should be going over how to change the aperture on an FT lens without having you to mount it onto your camera. Now for all of you new to the FT series as well as to those old timers, um, you notice something strange and what I have here is the 50mm f1.4 prime lens for Canon FD. And what's so strange about it is that when it's not mounted onto a camera, um, I'm not so sure if you can see, but the aperture will be fixed. Meaning, even though there's an aperture setting here, no matter how much I adjust it, the aperture will not change while it is not attached to the camera. So this will make it a bit difficult, especially when you're trying to buy a lens and you don't have your camera with you and you're trying to check it out from the seller to see whether all the apertures work, whether the lens is clean and whether or not um, I can shift between apertures easily. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very simple. All you need is a few basic equipments such as this, um, basic screwdrivers. This is a very old set of screwdrivers. Yeah, so let's get into it. Over right here I have the 50mm f1.2 and as you can see through the camera uh, the aperture blades are stuck and no matter how I try to adjust it over here see I'm putting it to f1.4 and it's still and it's still somewhat at maybe 5.6 at f1.4 I should expect to not see any aperture blades it should be wide open so let's see how to to get it to be wide open. So as I said, you'll need a screwdriver. So over here you note that there is this red button and on the red button side, uh, there is a small lever over here. And this thing um, can actually be pushed down using the screwdriver. And another thing you note is that on the opposite side of the red button, you have the same little lever here as well as a pin. Now this pin should already be pushed down. If it's not pushed down already, just give it a gentle push and it should click into place. Next is this one over here. The one next to the red button, same thing, just depress it a little. You might feel a little click. Okay, the next step is slightly uh, more difficult. As you can see, there is this lever thing here. So the aim is to put your finger on this and twist it to the right. And at the same time, you press this one down. So take your screwdriver, you press this a bit and you should feel a click. After the initial click, you should be able to turn it all the way like that. And behold, it is now wide open. So let's go adjust our aperture. It is now at f1.4. It is very wide open. I can shift it and maybe I want it to be at 5.6 so you can see it's still wide open but you put your finger over here and depress this and look purely mechanical and this is how you test the aperture so maybe I want it to be even smaller press this button over here and scroll down the aperture maybe f22 and I depress this again and you can see how tiny that really gets Yep, so maybe I want it to be at F2 now. And then you press it, and you can just see, see that sliver of aperture blades at the side. So this is how you test your, your aperture blades if you're looking to buy an FD prime lens. And remember to check every single aperture and to check whether the aperture blades have any oil stains. You can see over here, this one is quite free of oil stains. There's no like dark wet patch of oil over there. So that's good. Yep. So to get it back to normal, I'll just replace the lens cap. It's very simple. You see that there's a big white button over here. So you would press that button and you turn this to the left you see the red color ring change and it clicks into place very satisfyingly and it's now stuck in f 
So I hope that has been a useful tutorial for you guys. Um, let me know if you face any problems. And yep, that's all for today. Uh, this is especially useful for those who are using mirrorless cameras and would like to attach an FD lens to it. So through this method, you can actually manually adjust the, the aperture. And I hope this helps you guys out. Thank you very much.